My name's Simona Millam and I'm your Microsoft Office trainer and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the CBT Nuggets course on Word 2016. And my goodness, have I got some brilliant functionality to show you in this course. But first of all, let's just take a quick trip down memory lane. Now this is the very first version of Word for Windows, released in about 1989 I think. And the reason why I show you this is quite often people say to me, oh I don't really need Word training because my needs are so basic, you know, I only really create very simple documents. But that is part of the problem. Quite often we just get stuck in a rut as to how we use a product. And in fact the product has advanced a lot since 1989, as you might hope. And so therefore my aim of the course is to really uncover the functionality that Microsoft Word 2016 does have to offer. And even if you're a brand new user, don't worry, I'll be taking you right from the basics right through to being a really good user of Microsoft Word. So let me take you through some of the highlights of our course. So maybe, for example, you've always struggled with trying to do multi-level numbering in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to be able to show you how to master it and how to save multi-level number formats for reuse in future documents. Perfect if you've got a company standard that you need to follow. Or perhaps you've not yet seen some of the new functionality of Microsoft Word 2016. Look at the right hand side of my screen. I can look words up directly from within Microsoft Word with the smart lookup pane there. And I've got images I can use in my documents as well. Or perhaps you've always struggled with trying to have a mixture of landscape and portrait pages in your document. And, and perhaps you're not really sure what the difference is between a page break and a section break. We'll cover all of that as well in the page layout nugget in this course. What about co-authoring? So if you do tend to collaborate with your colleagues on documents, we've got some really good new features in Word 2016 to help us co-author real time on the same documents at the same time with our colleagues. Now that really is worth watching. And this is an interesting one. There's all sorts of other things we can do with our documents, maybe putting in some sort of watermark behind the, the background text of our document. We'll look at some of those options as well. And what about this? If you do work with other users and you need to track all of the changes that other users have made on the documents and, and maybe import comments and be able to see what other additions your colleagues have made to a document, we can cover all of that, all of those revision markings we'll talk about in the reviewing documents nugget. Oh, and look at this. This is an interesting one. Restricting editing. I get asked this an awful lot. You know, how do we lock down just part of the document so that people can only edit specific paragraphs while the rest of the document remains locked for editing? We'll look at that. And don't just think that Microsoft Word is just a simple basic word processor. You can almost turn it into a desktop publishing program. There's all sorts of other things you can do with your text and graphics. And we'll look at all of those options as well in our course. Oh, and this is an interesting one. So Microsoft Office 2016 does enable us to bring in these add-ins for Microsoft Office. So look at the right hand side of my screen here. This is where I can start uh, purchasing you know, graphics and photos from Shutterstock. But I'm able to access that functionality from direct within Microsoft Word. There's loads of these third-party add-ins that you can use to enhance the functionality of Microsoft Word, so well worth a look at that. And what about this? If you ever need to create a table of contents, that can all be done automatically in Microsoft Word. The same if you need to create an index at the back of your document or maybe any other reference type tools like cross-references and hyperlinks. We'll cover all of that as well. Oh, and this is an interesting one as well, particularly if you've got a tablet device with a stylus, you can write in your equations. But even if you haven't got a tablet device, then I will take you through how to put in an equation using the equation ribbon as well. And then finally, quite possibly my favourite nugget of the whole course, I'll show you how you can use Microsoft Word on multiple devices, including how you can start editing your documents on your iPad. So interesting stuff. Let's have a quick word now about the practical stuff, so how you can get the most out of this course. So what you'll find is, oh my goodness, look at this. This is quite possibly the, the fullest whiteboard I've ever written. But the reason why I've done this, this is just a list of all of the different nuggets in this course. There's 33 of them, including this introductory one. Now, if you are a brand new user to Microsoft Word, then of course, I would recommend that you do start at the beginning and work your way through them. 
If, however, you are a more advanced user, then there's no reason why you can't pick up individual nuggets as you need them. So perhaps you need to have a bit of a revision or mail merge, or perhaps you need to create a longer document and you do need to put in a table of contents and put in an index. So I'm really happy for you to dive in and just pick up individual nuggets as you need them. And what I've tried to do throughout the course is if I... If I'm referring to functionality that's been covered in a previous nugget, I will mention that. So in the table of contents nugget, for example, I do say, well, if you need to sort out your page numbering, then look at the previous nugget we had where we did talk about the headers and footers and page numbering. So you can dive around and pick up the individual nuggets that you need, depending on the functionality you want to learn. And I would just love it if you were able to follow along with me, certainly on some of the nuggets where we're creating quite interesting documents. What I've done, I've put all of my files, made them all available to you, all of these Nugget Lab files you can download and you can work along with me to actually do what I'm doing. And don't forget, you can pause me and rewind me if you need to sort of catch what I've said so you can catch up and follow along and click along and learn as I'm explaining things to you. I'd love it if you did that. And just another little practical point to note, when I'm recording these, these nuggets, I'm recording at a fairly low resolution. That's our standard for creating these videos so that they do play back on a wide variety of devices. But that does affect a little bit how Word looks. So if you look at this screenshot of Word, have a look over here at this part of the screen. Can you see that the text box button is quite big? and next to it there are some smaller buttons. That's the resolution I'm using to record the video, but in your copy of Microsoft Word it might well look different. Have a look at this screen snip. If you're running at a much higher resolution, which you possibly are, then the text box button will look the same, but the buttons next to it are much bigger. It's not a big deal, it's just so that when you're watching the videos, don't be puzzled if you think, oh, my button doesn't look quite like that. Don't worry, it's just because you're running Word at a different resolution to me and the buttons will adjust quite cleverly according to the resolution that you are running the program at. So I don't know what you're waiting for. I'm really excited about this course. I think you're going to learn loads of stuff about Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.